Hey guys, so this is just a quick primer on how to use an XT90. Now the difference here, well this is an XT90S and this is an XT90. Now the S signifies anti-spark. As you can see, there's a green piece here and there isn't here. If you actually look inside, there is a green resistor right within there. Now, if you push this about halfway through, it will connect, but it's only connecting to the resistor. Now, that's really what you want to keep in mind here. It's that um, how that works is when you're pushing this in about halfway, it's sort of a partial connection. So it's, it's allowing enough connection so that when you push it in the rest of the way, it's not going to create a spark which could corrode the contacts over time. Now this is enough to have it plugged in this far that it would be, um, it would power on your system. So you know if, if you weren't aware of that it, it would certainly be something that you would want to uh, keep in mind. Um, Here's just an example. This is a Luna Wolf pack. Really nice pack. Unfortunately, what had happened is that um, the person who had it um, only plugged it in halfway. And as you can see, the end result here is that the, you know, the resistor melted almost immediately because it was being, you know, there was like 50 amps of power being pulled through there all at once and you know what would happen is the power essentially bottlenecks and that creates heat and that heat melts the resistor and that's why this connector needs to be replaced so um, just to give you a demonstration of, of how this would work and what you want to keep in mind when using this type of connector is um, we're just going to use a, a multimeter and you know we just have this set to measure resistance and we're just gonna we're just gonna go through this connector and, and see what we get so this is on you know this is on the positive connection side which is where the resistor is as you can see where where the green is and you know there's actually a signification right here where it says that it is uh, six six ohms. Not sure if you can see that or not. But anyways, so right now, if you look on the multimeter, it says it's about uh, it's about seven point eight ohms, and you know that's that's what we would expect. This is about maybe forty percent of the way plugged in. So we're gonna plug it in a little more. And you know, we still see about eight ohms, you know? So we're gonna plug it in a little more. And this is, you know, this is more than halfway plugged in right now. So, you know, keep that in mind. This is definitely enough to power on a system, but it's not enough to actually use that system. So let's plug it in a little more, plug it in the rest of the way. And now it, it drops down to, you know, uh, an order of magnitude less on the multimeter which is which is really what what we want you know uh, at 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 that level of resistance it's it's not going to melt the connector which is what we want to keep in mind so you know that's just something to keep in mind with XD90S this is by far the most high quality connector on the market because you know it's going to it's going to hold up over time but it you know you do need to know how to use it you you don't want to only have it plugged in halfway because that you know that could potentially cause a problem with the resistor